Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to successfully uh, pass the CompTIA Security Plus exam and this video will guide you to the process of uh, studying your Security Plus before you are ready to take your exam. Let me bring the presentation to you and adjust the video here. Okay, so it's about the exam hacks. Okay, so this is actually just a, a bit of uh, tips and tricks on how to successfully uh, master your uh, CompTIA Security Plus exam. So let's start with this one. Uh, the first topic is actually about the key steps. There are four key steps that you need to actually follow. The first one is uh, review. You will need to start with uh, reviewing your, uh, what do you call this, your uh, study material. And then uh, these are this is actually about uh, reviewing all domains available in your CompTIA Security Plus, uh, what do you call this, uh, domain or uh, the CBK. Uh, I can't really remember how many domains we have, but um, try to provide or give yourself about uh, two to three weeks to review all domains available and then once you're done with your review you can try to take your quiz which is uh, the second step practice yep. so practice here referring to taking the available quizzes uh, based on the domains that you have reviewed and the third step is assess this is actually more about uh, having your own self-assessment. Yeah, so you can take practice tests, any different type of practice tests available online, offline. And when you're quite ready um, up on uh, taking the uh, actual test, you can do the last uh, step, which is actually the readiness um, step take the mock tests available same thing the available tests uh, online offline you could also ask your mentor your teacher or your instructor or your trainer to actually provide you with a um, you know <clears throat> updated mock tests just to make sure that you're ready to take the exam uh, in uh, on the day that you really want to take the exam or in a, your your scheduled day okay and uh, in this uh, session uh, I would also would like to provide you with some sample questions and I yeah, will do a short of uh, discussion on this questions okay so comprehension is number one yeah the first thing to uh, to do in mastering your exam is to understand what the questions uh, actually ask you okay let's look at the um, sample question number one here <clears throat> uh, what do you think would be the uh, possible answer I mean yeah the, the correct answer okay so let's uh, let me read this question a high security defense installation recently began utilizing large guards ducks that bark very loudly and excitedly as the slightest provocation which of the following types of controls does this best describe yeah guess your correct answer okay now to in order to correctly answer this you will need to look at the um the keywords here Okay, like for example, guards dogs. Guard dogs, an example is an example of whether it's a deterrent control, preventative control, 
detective control or compensating. Yeah, if you really look at uh, your Security Plus study book or study guides, you can find that um, there are several types of uh, security controls. <clears throat> and guard dogs is an example of a you're correct that's the example of deterrent control just like your cctv yeah, the circuit uh, tv uh, or your uh, video surveillance can also be uh, used to provide deterrent control right deterrent means that uh, deterrent control means that uh, this control is put in place to discourage people to do something bad like for example having cctv in a store or having uh, guard dogs okay so you nail it okay a is the correct answer now let's look at example question number two sample question two <clears throat> An incident re responder receives a call from a user who, responds, who reports a computer is exhibiting symptoms consistent with a malware infection. Which of the following step or steps should responder perform next? Okay, is it A, capture and document necessary information to assist in response? Is it B, request the user capture and provide a screenshot or recording of the symptoms? Is it C, use a remote desktop client to, to collect and analyze the malware's um, real time? I think there's something wrong with the, the, the statement here. Um, yeah, anyway, C is the remote uh, using remote desktop and D, ask the user to backup files for later, for later recovery. Now, uh, in the symptom of having consistent malware infection, what the incident responder should actually do is not to just uh, get a screenshot. So B is definitely is incorrect. Yeah. Now, guess your correct answer. What do you think would be the correct answer for this? Now, okay, so, uh, read carefully and try to find key words in this question the first keyword is the incident responder and the second uh, keyword is about exhibiting exhibiting symptoms consistent with a malware infection what do you think would be the correct answer so let me let me give uh, give you a clue okay uh, Requesting user to capture and provide screenshot or recording of the symptom is quite, I would say, almost correct. But yeah, so screenshot or recording will not really help the incident responder to further analyze. Okay. Now, the correct answer is actually you're correct. C is the correct one. Use a remote desktop to collect and analyze the malware in real time so that the incident responder would uh, allow uh, further analysis of the uh, symptoms yeah so this is actually the actual thing that uh, the actual thing that an incident responder needs to do rather than just asking the user to take a screenshot or recording yeah okay so you got uh, the correct answer for sample question number two now let's move on to sample question number three okay be careful reading comprehension is the key to answering the correct answer I mean to answer uh, to get the correct answer okay multiple organization operating operating in the same vertical wants to provide seamless wireless access for their employees as they visit the other organization which of the following should be implemented of all the organizations use the native 802.1x client on their mobile devices yeah now um 
first you will need to find a keyword or keywords for example here native 802.1 right and also provide seamless wireless access for their employees is also another keywords okay now let what do you think would be the correct answer is it a shibboleth of course you will need to know what is shibboleth do some reading if you don't understand or if you don't even know what is shibboleth radius federation b or c samo or d o of and then e open id connect <clears throat> now uh one of the most important uh what we call the statement here is that the organization is still using native 802.1x okay so what do you think would be the correct answer now because we need to support native 802.1x okay others may not support this native 802.1x so the correct answer here is actually bravo okay so that's the correct answer so again you will need to understand the statement find the keywords it could be like one keyword two keywords or even three keywords and then uh, go back and you know try to uh, recall what you have learned in different type of uh, uh, what you call this um, technologies that support native 802.1 which is uh, 802.1x which is actually considered to be um, triple a authentication authorization and accounting service all right so you're done with uh, sample question three now let's move on to sample question number four an analyst wants to implement a more secure wireless authentication for office access points and which of the following technologies allow for the encrypted authentication of wireless client over tls now if you have read the technologies that support wireless so the point here is that to provide more secure wireless authentication yeah so wireless uh, can be supported by radius can also be supported by wpa pa PEAP or EAP is actually the encryption. So it's not really uh, about the technology itself. Okay. So how do you provide secure wireless authentication for uh, the wireless client over TLS? Okay. In this case, you will need to really recall what you have learned earlier or previously in your security study books okay and the most secure wireless authentication that provide encrypted authentication for wireless client over tls is charlie wpa or wireless protected access version 2. this is a straightforward question right <clears throat> so you either know the technology or you don't know the technology yeah go back and read if you don't uh, get this correct now the last question uh, sample question five yeah would require you to understand also the technology yeah let's uh let's read this one a security analyst is hardening an authentication server okay so one point here is the authentication server one of the primary requirements one of the primary requirements is to ensure there is a mutual authentication and delegation given the requirements which of the following technology should the analyst recommend and configure okay so you will need to provide mutual authentication and delegation uh, we have LDAP services a b is Kerberos services c is ntlm services and d is chat services again two objectives here provide mutual authentication that's the first objective and the second is delegation and the only uh, services that can provide this is okay guess guess what 
NTLM? LDAP? No. The correct answer is actually Bravo, which is Kerberos. Kerberos, by default, provide mutual authentication and delegation. And if you don't know about this, check your study book or your study materials. Okay, so again, to in order to answer or provide the correct answer to a specific question, read the question, read the statement carefully. Try to get the keyword or keywords that might help you on selecting the correct answer. Like for example, what technology would, would, which would support authentication and delegation. And you can also use different uh, type of uh, technique, like for example, elimination. You can eliminate, like oh, for example, wow, here, NTLM services is good, but does it actually provide authentication? Maybe yes. So keep it that one, and then chat per uh, perhaps. Or you might want to remove NTLM and chat because they are not uh, related to the question. So. Elimination is one of the methods that, that you can actually use to correctly select the answer to your question. Okay, so back to my previous explanation. Yeah, the topic. Carefully review all domains in your security plus do quiz or take quiz or quizzes on that particular domain or for that particular domain do your practice and then once you're done with the review and the quiz and then you can perhaps do your own self uh, practice test assess yourself right uh, assess yourself with you know mix of co uh, mix or combinations of questions yeah from multiple domains and then maybe like one or two weeks before your actual test or your actual exam, you could just take like a mock test or mock exam for your readiness. Readiness here means readiness for you to take the actual uh, exam. You can ask your mentor, your trainer, your instructor yeah, to give you the mock test. The mock test would perhaps consist of maybe 100 questions that would uh, test your knowledge about what you have learned in your study guides, right? Okay, that's all for this session and hope that this particular uh, tutorial video would really help you uh, in terms of you know, mastering your exam, okay? So passing the exam by properly preparing your exam preparing for your exam is the best you i would not uh, suggest or even advise you to uh, take the dumps or just memorize the dumps whatever questions you have and the answers because memorize memorization will not help you on the actual exam. Questions in the exam frequently changes or frequently change. So um, possibility of you getting new question, new set of questions yeah, is very high. Perhaps you might find 10 of the questions coming from the dumps, but the uh, remaining 90% or I would say, yeah, 90% of the questions are new questions. So you have to get ready for those questions. Okay, so study well, practice, do the assessment, and make sure that you're ready by taking the mock test. Could be like one or two mock tests. Okay, see you again next time in my next tutorial. Ciao.